cloth and clay comes together because they're both materials that people work with and transformations referring to both the materials and how working with crafts can be transformative for the person themselves. Visitors to the Yorkshire Sculpture Park will come down into the archive but we also have a lot of student visitors from different sorts of courses so any exhibition here but in particular this one is designed to cope with both an everyday audience and a very knowledgeable audience. So this exhibition brings together three key elements, materials, craft consciousness and education and it provides a platform to reconsider the value of making. One of the most interesting things that we have in this particular exhibition is um, clay work completed by a teacher called Margaret Sowerby who's local and it is extremely well crafted. They're really quite marvellous. I mean, I've taught a lot of ceramics in schools and if the technical knowledge behind these isn't good, they'll just fall apart. Um, so, brilliantly done. This piece is from the Tony Chisholm collection. It's a rather nice chameleon and we've left it out again so that people can touch it. But it points its way to a textile on the wall over here, which also features a chameleon-like lizard um, moving. So it's actually moving up through the undergrowth to catch a moth or a butterfly or whatever it likes for lunch there. So it's quite an animated piece. That's a batik. Some key small exhibits in the exhibition are from the Muriel Pyra collection. Uh, Muriel Pyra was a teacher under Sir Alec Clegg in the West Riding. She worked in Castleford and she had a particular technique in teaching that she called Asking Out. And currently, Asking Out is the title of an exhibition put together by Ruth Ewan which is in the Longsides Gallery at the YSP, where she's recreated a classroom of Muriel Pyra's time and work. And what we have here are the pieces of work that the children drew. So although they're in textiles, in thread, on fabric, they are not embroideries, they're not embellishments. They're children looking at and closely observing and then recording the things that they see. So it's very common for them to work from natural form and here we've got feathers and seed heads and leaves um, brilliantly observed and recorded. One of the things people might notice in the exhibition if they read the boards or look at some of the supporting materials is that crafts in education was a much contested area. So in the 1960s, the Coldstream reports, which affected art college provision, had a major effect on the provision of crafts in that area, thus affecting eventually teacher training. But also things like textiles are contested because, of course, you've got a feminist viewpoint now, which you didn't have through the 30s and 50s in quite the same way. We've been thrilled to bring specific pieces out into the open um, to offer those to the public. The Muriel Pyra work, for instance, would probably not see the light of day if we didn't actually or weren't able to include it in a particular exhibition. Um, and Ruth Ewan, as I've said, has picked that up um, for a major installation. And Ruth originally came into the archive to have a look. So she found things that she was interested in. Researchers, individuals come in in exactly the same way. They see something and then they follow it through. What we hope people take away from the exhibition is a slightly broadened view of craft in education. What we know they're taking away from it is a real enjoyment in seeing 
the crafts and how children have used them and how sad it is that we don't have those things to this extent in current educational practice. Partly that's because an interest in craft was displaced by an interest in design as we moved further into the 20th century. So from the 1950s onwards, design became the thing to talk about in the art and design world. And that affected crafts, people, provision through the art colleges and then provision in schools as well. We have very little craft work now um, and a large area of the curriculum devoted to design and technology.